Hello and welcome to this app Android application development tutorial. We create a, an application which is going to be uh, an Android application and it will be converting some currency values from one currency to another. So let's say we take some US dollars and we'll try converting this to uh, UAE dirhams uh, and we'll have this as one activity. It will be a single page, a single activity in this application and will, there will be some text boxes there will be some buttons there will be some labels okay and they uh, they won't be uh, like uh, multiple pages in this application there will be only one page application which is one activity so application name will we'll give it uh, currency exchange app and now this is basically uh, your package name inside this package uh, your classes will go basically your main class your main activity class and this is the minimum version you'd like to support and um, this is the target version this is the target if you support the if you want to click on the where I would suggest you avoid the where versions because the where versions have a different um, edit text components you will know uh, already what these edit text components are uh, basically your text boxes are all edit text components so just try to avoid this one 4.4 but not where compile with also not where and yeah you can you know go with a number of themes uh, let's select any of these themes hello holo light maybe okay and next yeah make sure the create activity automatically is selected create custom launcher icon is selected basically it's your your icon whatever icon you want to give and this uh, create project and workspace is selected the next thing you can do is you can actually okay this is your icon which appears on different kinds of devices small devices medium devices and then your um, tablets and the, the, the tablets will have higher resolution so that kind of devices and these are the difference bet uh, between them and what size actually the padding on their corners so this is something which you can consider um, you can choose some images and you can paste them over here you can have some something like for example um, XCT exchange something like this and uh, this is actually your design coming up you can change it to another color this is uh, background color which is not very catchy foreground color which is not going to make a huge difference so let's say yeah so basically yeah, any cursor let me choose a little lighter one or I can actually also define some colors from here okay let's move forward yeah, make sure you click blank activity other activities are for different kinds of applications which we are creating now these are for you know the application which, which have multiple activities the tab ones and you know you're actually moving from one page to another page which means from one activity to other activity then you have intents that one activity is linked with another activity one page linked with another page of the same application so right now we're not doing it we're just creating a blank activity click next main activity is going to be your activity name and your layout name where you will graphically be designing and at the back end it will be xml that xml file name will be activity underscore main so let's finish this and the application name which we have created is currency exchange app and there's already hello world over here just delete this because you don't need this make sure everything is under relative layout so relative layout is um, one choice from a range of uh, different layouts and we'll be adding our um, text fields and some some labels over here this is medium text and let's add another medium text over here and give it text value this would be like USD and this one is my maybe like dirhams if you like to change it to dirhams and AED is the currency symbol of dirhams the next thing you want to do go to text fields drag and drop your um, 
number yeah so this is your number so i can drop this here okay now if you encounter this problem make sure this is actually uh not 20 because this is for the for the wear again so i'll press ctrl z to undo this and i'll change my version from here from 4.4 wear because i i used i chose when i was creating my application to wear um, i chose not wear but this is actually being created and so this is not um, uh, programmed or configured very well so whenever this activity main dot xml graphical layout should come up it should make sure it is not what i have um, unselected it should be only what i have selected so let's bring it down to 4.4.2 yeah and that's doable when i do this you see the controls will change over here so i've got a number which i should now see so let's see this is my number decimal so let's drag and drop this over here a bit towards the right and not that much bigger a little smaller and then again let's drag and drop this over there okay so we've got these two um, working the next thing we need to do is add a button and give it a text like for example convert or calculate or whatever so i should get dollars to the arms in this way so just save this make sure your layout is saved and when you want to rename something for example this is your text box control its name is edit text one and the other ones is edit text two so this is essentially what this is text box to take your value input value from from the user for the usd so the it can be 100 200 300 400 whatever and if you look at the xml this is uh your edit text one this is the one which we designated for usd and this is the one which we designated for aed so if i want to i can change the edit text two from here to something which i would like to remember which i can find in my code to like aed txt but i don't want to do this from here the best thing if you want to do some changes in the id actually you do it from the from the properties window from the graphical layout because what it will do it will also reflect the changes everywhere whatever you were doing over here so i'll do this i'll call it ad txt with t capital because it's a separate let word and now it will ask me to the to change the references which are pointing to this component from other places and you say yes and okay so it will do that update automatically so now text one also i'd like to change it to usd txt and press enter and then accept this okay it will change all the references everywhere and now this is the convert button i'll give it um, a name called convert btn yes okay right so now my layout is finished and what i need to do is um, whenever the user presses uh, enter something in usd i'd like to go and change uh, and show the AED value okay so this is what I'd like to do go to my main activity right by default uh, uh, there are many methods created which are creating a uh, few things which we do not like actually we not not that we don't like we are not using right now so like other components which have widgets inside for example drop down menu etc which we have not used up till now we are actually and even the menus so we are actually deleting all these make sure the on create is clicked on create is a special function which only provides you to change any behavior when the application is started basically so um, we will now come below this and now we what we will do is we have to get the control of the text the edit text so if you come back on this graphical interface one two and three these things we need to control so let's look at the xml this is my usd txt which is edit text aed txt is also edit text and my convert button which is a button so we can use this in java in the same with the same class names 
so let's write this edit text and this is for usd txt is equal to uh, find and when I do control space it will complete it automatically find view by id r is the resources r dot id and it will show me automatically so I'm looking for usd txt so it will complete automatically and then edit txt ad txt so now I will get the references for those item those widgets which are at the interface find view by id control space okay now my id and i get this r dot id dot ad txt okay and then there is a button um let's convert ptn is equal to again find view by id r dot id dot um convert nope just convert btn okay control space is a shortcut okay now there is some problem over here let's see what's the problem it says this class is not imported already just take your mouse over it and press yes please import it so edit text this is also not imported android.widget.button is what we would like to import and now add cast to edit text so now we are actually if we press this it will convert this automatically to edit text which is good um, and which we would like so because this is pointing to any component on the interface and it does not know whether it is edit text or button or you know drop down or image etc therefore we just have to do the conversion because it doesn't know what type is it over there so now the next thing I want to do is to add a listener to the convert button so whenever the button is pressed the um, the number is actually converted so what we'll do is okay we need to have a listener over here convert btn dot set on click listener and then new on click press control enter it will give you an option double click here and it will do the uh, basic uh, structure for you okay and this should be complete and now it is complaining that the on click interface is not defined just import it and it should be okay there's another error press semicolon over here make sure you keep on saving now what we need to do we need to get the numbers so we'll get this um, the AED TXT value so the USD TXT value so I'll declare this float or maybe double because it is larger and the user can enter any large number double USD this is the actual number now I'm converting it into a number a double number is equal to USD TXT dot sorry not find view by id uh, dot get text dot to string so it will give me a nice string value now I need to convert this back to double so I'll do double dot parse yeah parse double and keep this everything inside the two brackets okay now why is it complaining non final okay so this is final meaning it is not changeable so just declare it as final so it is not changeable even though you can change the values but you are declared that this component is not changeable okay and then now the con the the result actually so the word result is equal to usd multiplied by 3.7 that's the standard rate for past 20 years so we'll just leave it like that double and then a uh, ad txt dot set text and then inside over here we write result so this would actually uh, should not complain so it's not applicable for arguments double all right so just convert this one string by doing dot okay it's not dot two string plus just add a string to it so it will convert this automatically to a string and just save it and then the next thing we're going to do is to run this application right click run as 
um, Android application and it should now start the emulator it should run the application for me by the way if you're having problems with your if it is not you know running your emulator it is com uh, complaining for the memory and able to launch whatever so you go to virtual device manager in the virtual device manager select your Android phone on which your uh, um, emulator is deploying and decrease the memory size from maybe 500 to 300 to, from 300 to like this 256 internal storage also to 50 or 60 or 70 so it does not ask for a lot of resources when it is being deployed otherwise it would be complaining of a lot of resources and then this is console when it actually starts to um, compile and deploy it will show you some messages over here okay so I get that problem finally it says again fail to allocate memory and let's see the task manager there is indeed less memory so what I can do is I should go to run as run configurations target my Android phone so this is the Android phone for which I have reduced the, the memory requirements let's see if I, it works otherwise I'll reduce further okay so it works no need to reduce further okay okay so it has started let me just unlock my mobile phone from the emulator then I'm gonna search for this currency exchange app Okay, I somehow uh, gave it calculator app so that name was in my mind so I gave it this name so let's now test if this thing works from USD to AED okay it has stopped there is some problem let's go and see what the problem is null pointer exception Right, so there seems to be, there is actually, there, there should be no null pointer for the USD. This is my USD. And this is the text I'm talking about, USD TXT. And this is the text I'm talking about, which is AED TXT. And uh, let's do this. Calculator app again. And I'll write something over here. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Here again, and see four fifty-five. Okay, so the null pointer exception. I don't know where it came from. One hundred should be three seventy. Okay, and uh, four fifty should be one six six five. So how about the points? Forty-five point five five should be also. All right. So the null pointer app. Uh, comes from the double from the double calculation so uh, we can incorporate double calculation over here also so one thing we need to do is uh, we need to declare at least one value as float and uh, then deploy this as java application okay Let it redeploy. Okay, while it is redeploying, we can just check the values. Okay, it deployed 45.55. How about this? Okay, so now we've got an application which is accepting double values, which is floating, floating point, and it is a currency conversion application. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.